At the end of this semester, it'll mark uh, two and a half years I've been working for Mr. Canada. I have been working for OMA for about, this would make my third year. Hi, my name is Antonio Powers and I've been working for the Office of Multicultural Minority Affairs for the past two years, since I was a sophomore in college. My name is Mike Panino and I've been working here, this is my second semester working for OMA. It's been great. Uh, you learn a lot. You meet a lot, uh, a lot of people. Um, you make great connections, uh, and you learn things about other people that you would have never known if you wouldn't have been working for here or gone to any of the events. So I mean, it's it's been a very pleasant experience. It's been really enjoyable. Um, it's nice to meet a lot of new people and learn so much about my culture as well as everybody else's culture. It's been very fun. That's why I've continued to work here for the past three years. It's great work for Mr. Robert and Miss Lisa. Um, it's always positive energy, energy inside of the office. Um, they always keep a smile on your face and they never let you down. Miss Lisa's awesome. Mr. Canada. Nah, he's an awesome boss. Really appreciate working for him. I really enjoy working here. I've been to the symposiums. I've uh, helped them out with the Taste of Eye World. Um, any other little things like uh, the diversity calf sessions, uh, we've helped them set up those. Uh, basically, anything that, any event that the office throws, I play some kind of role in it, just like every other worker here. Um, I have actually participated in the beginning of the UNCP pageant from the year before last and I have been to the Taste of Our World, the Diversity Cafe series. The activities that I've participated in has been the Diversity Cafe. Um, I've also participated in Mr. and Mrs. Black History Month and I've also participated in different symposiums on campus. I've been to one and it was for can't remember the name of it, but just for legally blind people, the misconceptions for them. It's actually really cool. Since I've been working here, how have I changed? Uh, definitely my, my time management has changed and uh, my priorities have changed to where um, I put a lot of things on the back burner to do what I need to do here. Of course, this is my job, so I need to do what I need to do. Um, but I haven't changed very much since I've been working here, but just some of the skills that I have have changed, you know, with along with the time management and, you know, setting priorities straight. You know, I've learned, you know, a lot of technological skills and everything else. So, I mean, it's been good. I would definitely say while working here that I have changed in multiple ways, but the main way is I have become more sociable. And by meeting so many people and meeting like so many connections through working here, it's helped me to be, to branch out and to be more sociable. Um, mentally, not a lot, but I've gotten a broader idea of how I can interact with people. Because I work with a lot of diverse people. Um, it's not just one ethnicity back here that we work with, it's different ethnicities that I work here inside of the office. Um, I don't know how much I would say I've changed, but just working here, just the diversity, learning more about it. Definitely just uh, some of the knowledge that I learned about different cultures and uh, different ethnic groups. You just, you learn that information and it kind of does stick with you because, I mean, it's very interesting. Um, it becomes, you know, part of your everyday knowledge. And uh, along with that, I learned, you know, skills of like uh, 
I'm a social media coordinator here and uh, so I learned how to do stuff more with social media networks like Facebook and Twitter as well as uh, blogging and uh, working on websites, uh, setting up different events. I mean, all, all those skills I'll take with me to wherever I go. Um, by working in OMA, I realized how important diversity is within not only the workplace, but within a school setting and even a personal setting that we need to respect each other's differences and admire that our differences is what brings us together. I've gotten out of working for Alma. Um, it's very diverse and don't just judge a book by its cover. And things that I've, things that I've learned here, I've, I've been able to carry on in the real life and for my future. This is a cool atmosphere and what I've learned from this area is how diversity should be approached and that everybody's equal no matter how they look or what they do or say. I would definitely recommend working here uh, for anybody here on campus. I mean, it's a great job. Uh, you know, it's a flexible schedule. So, I mean, and you kind of, you bring your own skills that you already have and you just, you just develop them more while you're here. I would definitely recommend um, working here to somebody else or just other UNCP students in general. It's a great atmosphere. You learn a lot while working in the office and you're respected so much more because it's such a diverse atmosphere and your differences are taken into consideration and everyone's so friendly and I would definitely recommend it. I would because actually I'm going to be graduating in December and I will really need somebody to take my place so I would recommend anybody to work here that's open to new and open ideas and that's very diverse. I would because you, just awesome people to be working with. It's not too difficult to do stuff here, but at the same time, there is work that has to be done. But again, awesome boss, awesome people, good atmosphere. Diversity Cafe is it's a it's a program that was established by the Diversity Committee for Communities of Interest, and we decided that once a month we would um, ask faculty and staff and, and students to present on a topic um, of their choice, but it had to relate to either diversity or inclusion or multiculturalism. So, just well, this month with it being Women's History Month, uh, we had two presentations. One was dealing with uh, saying the R, the R word, which dealing with rape. The other one was dealing with how women are misrepresented or exploited in the media. It was called misrepresentation. So that was part of our Diversity Cafe series. Our, actually I think it's our sixth or seventh year we've, we've been doing the Diversity Cafe series. And um, again, it was, it came out of the Diversity Cafe, excuse me, the Diversity Committee um, group and we decided to do something that would you know bring more awareness to the university's diversity so that's why we, we decided to do it well if you think of a cafe okay when you go to a cafe you see a lot of different things going on going to a cafe it's not just about coffee right okay you can get pastries there you can get coffee you can get um, the Scotties, you can, you can get almost anything, well not almost anything, but you know, it's, there's a wide variety. So for us, the Diversity Cafe, okay, is a variety of different type of presentations. Yes. It's not a cafe because of you come and eat or of the setup, it's because of, um, again, the, the variety that we offer. Well, like I said, it, it came out of the Diversity Committee for Communities of Interest, uh, which is in OMA. It's, um, one of the programs within OMA, the Office of Multicultural Minority Affairs. And it was, again, it was a way for us to, um, to allow for conversations to be had about
topics such as rape, such as same-sex marriages, such as um, domestic violence, things like that? Well, if they walk away or come away learning one new thing, okay, that's all that matters for me, um, or to me rather. Um, our hope is that people are changed by the diversity cafes to the degree that they've learned, they've gained new knowledge about something they didn't, didn't know about before, okay? Um, this last diversity cafe, that, well not the last one, the one dealing with the R word, that was a very powerful uh, cafe session um, where there was so much um, discussion and disclosure about people and individuals and what they were going through as it relates to, to, to rape and, and just um, domestic and, and relationship violence that it was, it was a very, that was, a, that was probably our, one of our best diversity cafes. The thing out of the event was that um, the visually impaired are just like us and never assume. And also they do not like ass assimilations. And I mean, you should just go with the flow and take it as it is. I learned today that a lot of the visually impaired people are just like us. Um, they are very organized. They are very well known about their information that they have to offer. And they also are very active on this campus. So instead of them treating them like they have a disability, they wish to just be treated like a regular student at UNCP. I learned pretty much that human beings are just like we are. People treat them like they're animals because you know how we treat animals. Sometimes we treat them mistreated a bunch of animals and stuff like that. You know, they got feelings just like we got feelings. Actually, most of them, probably some of them are a lot educated than we are. But, you know, we miss such some people, so therefore, stop missing such what you're looking at. Mr. Cannon sent me an email, and I said, hmm, interesting. I might want to learn about, you know, how we treat blind people and uh, deaf people and all that. It's not just them personally. People that are less unfortunate than me, that's my interest. Okay. You know, how can I help somebody without knowing how to help them, first of all?